Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. This video I'll be looking at Creality Print version 5.1. Let's scratch to this topic. As you know, Creality Print version 5 has been out for a couple months and there are still problems occurring on Creality Print version 5.0. It kinda got transferred from their Creality Print the older version, all the bugs, the crash, most of the things that are on their older Creative Print kinda got transferred over to Creative Print 5.0. But they just recently released their version 5.1. Hopefully it will fix most of the bugs, if not all the bugs. And I will check it out right now and see what kind of things they have added to the version 5.1. So just to be clear, Creative version 5 is kind of based off of Orga Slicer. Creative Print version 5 is building off of Orga Slicer. It's kind of taking the features from Orga Slicer and integrating it into Creative Print. But there are just still like bugs and crashes. And one of the main bugs I found and many people found is that I can't really send prints to my Cable Max or my Ender 3v3 or just any 3D printers that is connected with Creative Print. And Creative Print only allows K1 series, the new Ender 3v3, and I think the new CR10. That's pretty much it with the printers that are compatible with Creative Print version 5.0. But enough talking, let's go over to Creative's webpage and look at what they added to their new version. We are now in Creative's website, Creality Cloud. As you can see here, it's the version 5.1 with more numbers but we're just gonna call it 5.1 and yesterday i did found that it was on their github page but it looks like they took it off from their github page but it's fine it's still on created cloud so let's see what they added on the description over here Creality print version 5.1 software update notes okay one added multiple process parameters quality scarf joint c okay like i said that is from orca slicer but creative print is like a couple months behind orca slicer of adding these new stuff orca slicer added to orca slicer and then creative took that from orca slicer and put it into creative print our tolerance don't fit to our small internal bridge it's in beta just like in orca slicer minimum wall length wall loop directions small error flow compensations beta and flow compensations model bridge counter borehole bridge counter borehole which i covered like a month ago on orca slicer and created now just have it onto their creative print number two add a model integrated direction and repair functions for windows only i believe Edit parts, navigation part, modifier, support enforcer, and support blocker function. More for the support. Edit 3MF project file upload to Creality Cloud. Okay, so it looks like you can send files of 3MF to Creality Cloud via the slicer now. Edit spherical brush tool, scene painting, color, support painting. Now Creality is adding scene painting, but more importantly, the color painting, which is going towards their K2 Plus. And for Creality is multiple color printing. They also added supports for Japanese, Korean, and French languages. Added multiple calibrations functions, retraction speed, speeds maximum speed, speed tower, jitter speed, fan speed, accelerations, max acceleration, acceleration tower, slow acceleration, and arc fitting, which is always nice. Calibrations on all slicer is very nice. Add acceleration information during the acceleration process in slicing preview. Okay, nice. I hope they added the up and down and left and right arrow so that we can just go layer by layer. Hopefully, upgraded user feedback system. Nice. Added more error message prompt. Okay, so now we are going to get more error. I'm just kidding. Increase speed of re slicing after parameters modification. Nice. This is one of the problems I have with Creality Print because every single time you slice, it just takes forever. Most of the time, it gets stuck around 69% or 89% and it just never go past that point. And once you change something, you re-slice it, it just crash and stuff like that. But it does work half of the time and hopefully this actually make it work most of the time or like all the time. Optimize some interactions, operations, fix other known bugs okay that's very nice that's a lot of things added to one update but as of making this video i just got this thought in my head i'm gonna be comparing this to orca slicer right now this idea was not planned before making this video but i just want to 
go and check out Orca Slicer. Okay, now I'm in Orca Slicer version 2, the beta release. This was released on March 12th. So that's like, what, three months ago? Orca Slicer released this version 2. And look at this. They introduced scarf joint seam. And they introduced small area flow compensations, which is three months ago. And they also improved the gap field applications. They also added calibrations tests like the string held test, which is this. Oh, and they added this, which Creative Print did not do it on their version 5.1, but maybe in about three more months, they will add this feature. Counter bore hole bridging, which was added three months ago on Orca Slicer, and now just made it to Creative Print, and that's pretty much it. So as you saw there, Creative Print is pretty much taking things from Orca Slicer, which is totally fine because both of them are open source, so you can take stuff from open source and just make it your own. You just gotta kinda give credit to what you were like. I took it from this thing and just make it this. Open source is just like that. At least that's what I think open source is. Just let me know in the comments down below, is that exactly what open source is? Or is it different? But based on what I know, open source is you can take it, you can fork it, and make it your own without any problems. But yeah, well, I'm gonna be playing with Creative Print version 5.1 for like a couple of days, maybe weeks, and I will make another video on my thoughts and my experience using Creative Print version 5.1 and see how good it is. Can it compete up to Orca Slicer's level? Who knows, right? Only time will tell. I'll leave the link down below to Creative Print version 5.1 and Orca Slicer's version 2 if you want to check it out, if you want to compare the both. But that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep on 3D printing.